All right, I'm going to show you guys out there in the big world of YouTube how to create and control AI in Istralid. Istralid. Whatever. Okay, basically, all you have to do to open up the AI panel, make sure the AI panel is on by turning on AI on, obviously, and then go into the AI category. And there's a bunch of these little boxes things. Those are sort of like any of you ever program with Scratch, they're like those boxes. And anything that's higher in the list takes priority over the others. I'll get to more of that in a minute. But basically, I'm going to show you how to make a swarm AI storm-ish thing. Basically, it's really, really, really powerful and lags on some computers. Okay, basically, all you have to do is... Okay, let me explain the parts. This part here, that's for lazy people like me who want to not click on anything and just let it play out. This part here makes them spread it, spread to command posts that are enemies and capture them that are within 10,000 meters. This thing makes it so that while they're heading to the command post, if they see an enemy within 1,000 meters, they'll immediately go over and attack. Which, And these guys on their own, I'm going to be honest, they absolutely suck. But... They cost $90. That means you can spam them. Eh, eh. What the hell was that? And so basically, all you have to do is... Okay, I'm going to be honest. This actually is not that good if you just have one spam deck. Luckily, I made a couple more spam decks. And so basically now, we're going to go up against... I don't know. Um... Beta Swarm, yeah, Curry. that's good, all right, and now all hell breaks loose. Behold. <laughs> As you can see, this is going to be very deadly for, their, for the opponents, even though they have a swarm, they don't have nearly as many units as this. And as you see, they automatically spread out to these command posts and capture them, which gets you more money so you can spend more dollars on the swarm. I just noticed mine looks way different than the rest of them. Oh yeah, whatever. And so basically, they, the enemy will be quickly overtaken, but it's always helpful if you have a power unit because that way you can save a lot of battery for your units. See, they're overtaken right now. We're one, com no, two command posts away from, ah, three. Okay, about to be two. Two command posts away from winning. And we're still going strong. Alright, we're now invading their main area. But they're picking us off because we're running out of power before we reach there. Oh, never mind. We're butt-stabbing them. Ha! Ah, get butt-stabbed. Yes. Yes. These guys are more suicide runs. They're not really useful if they're going to be like a long over time, like a time where you're going to be like continue and strategize and everything. These guys are just suicide bombers. As you can see, we're gaining command post. And, you know, the only problem is I'm pretty sure that you the enemy gains money if they kill your units. So, can I just like kill all these guys? Control X. No, it's not working. Oh, that works. I guess I can only do it on my units, not on my team. That'd be annoying in multiplayer. It's all of a sudden like, oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Boom. Wait, did we win? We won! Hey, I wasn't actually expecting that. Oh god, voice cracks. But basically that's the swarm deck. Also, don't forget to make a healer, or not a healer, but an energizer, so they re restore energy to your units. To do that, you just need this. This is just one of many designs you could do. There. And... Here, let's look at, make it look all fancy. I say... There. That's very effective. Okay, and now change the AI for this guy 
so that it'll spawn two of them at the start, that it'll chase after units that are out of energy, and it will avoid bullets and everything. Make that more important than that, otherwise he will just ignore everything and keep going. And make sure it can flee from enemies that get too close, let's say 600 meters. So now we have an effective one of those. Not only will it power my team, but it will also power the, like not the opponents, but uh, the everyone else on my team. So all the other swarms. And so basically that's all you need for a swarm team. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a few things. And yeah, see ya.